My Discord hosted two weekly events every week for eight weeks. These 16 winners, eight of each region, will fight it out to see who is the Backpabash Invitational Champion. The format is first to five, single elimination, and if you're interested in entering future events, all you gotta do is join the community Discord, and weekly events will begin again on the 17th of June. And we begin. Kyle gonna start with a success. Gets a hit into the curse. Keeping pizza timeout. Big success once again. This normal is very, very good at uh, steep keeping people from approaching on the ground horizontally. Does get the yeah. whiff. Keeps himself safe with the bullet. Oh my god. It's just a 6 SVS out here. <laughs> yeah, so far Kyle's playing a solid game. And, and as you said, you've got tills like 6S to keep him out. And then you've got 2S. And then you've got bar slash. He's really got it all. Yeah, so what I want to see from pizza time here is uh, start to punish the success with 6P. It is very, very 6 people. This will make uh, Kyle have oh, to start using 2Ss instead of 6Ss. But the weakness of a 2S is that it's a low, so you can like jump over it and jump in. But once yeah. again, Kyle getting so much value from the 6S, just continuously using it. Fortunately, He's pizza time is all the time in the world to adapt. Oh, that's going to get a lot of damage. Yeah, I accidentally messed up the uh, corner combo though. Got a side switch, and now they're back into the mid screen. Great back dash on the success. Uh, so far, Kyle's done an amazing job keeping an eye on his resources. I keep seeing him like get to zero bullets, but realize that he's at zero. So he he's doing a good job of being all like, ah, I'm really low. I'm going to quickly reload, or I need to focus. Oh, wow, great knockout. So much damage. Yeah, what a fantastic challenge there by Kyle. Get some space out of the corner. Nice, gets the meter in time as well. You definitely want to reload a bit, maybe. Okay, yeah, at this point, I think Pizza Time is respecting the Chaos Neutral a little too much. Yeah, Salt does have ways to play around it, but it's still very rough. Oh, wow. And now he's going to be able to zone really well. Oh, misses with the 2S, going to get pushed into the corner. I that should be should enough. Be yeah, with the RC yeah. especially, yep. Yeah. And Pizza Time will be taking our first game. Uh, very close first game. That's a little rough. I feel like uh, Kyle should have taken that. I think the, the main thing was uh, when Pizza Time got in, they really took advantage. Yeah. They Like uh, every single time they got in, they actually like made it happen, you know? It's yeah, one thing to get in, but you also have to kill the character. It is like that, and especially in this type of matchup where it's like um, you're playing a Sol in this, where it's like you don't get in a lot, you need to make it so that every time you get in, it counts. Either you're killing or you're just dealing a large chunk. Um, but uh, the, the main problem is always that barrier of trying to get rid of um, Happy Chaos's burst, because is if he gets that off, it's back to zoning. One thing I appreciate, oh, well, Rip, but uh, one thing I appreciate is that Pizza Time is uh, playing very patiently. They're picking their spots to dash block. Oh, unfortunately, not in the range of the 6S. Got a little greedy there, trying to throw out that normal. How dare yeah. you try to play the game? Very greedy of you. Solid zoning game so far. Oh, uses success to approach. Oh, out of oh, focus. Yeah. It's going to be a problem. Unfortunately, ran in at the worst possible time. Loses the meter. Gets it back, though. You have two bars to work with, Kyle. Didn't go for the wire C. Uh, I don't. Oh, I feel like you should have wire C to this point. You are definitely okay. getting punished for that. PRC oh. into the 5K, and well, Kyle never That's had a clean. chance to use that meter. That was clean. Uh, it's a shame getting two bars and then just sitting on it, but with a character like Happy Chaos, there's not really a lot of time. You, you can't really use your bar a lot unless you're on the pressure. Um, the only other defensive thing that you can do is maybe like YRC. That's about it. Oh, wow. A again, a really solid zoning game. He needs to, but you gotta yep. keep an eye on focus. Finally gets the hit. It's gonna be a ton of damage. Capitalizing off that risk. Gets the hit again. It's looking like a very good round. At yeah. some point, oh, okay, well, I was gonna say maybe you start just reloading multiple bullets, but I guess not. He's very comfortable with that one bullet zoning. Yeah. Uh, it, it will get scary, though. You're sitting on zero, and then you can't even use it, like, um, like shoot them as they're approaching. So he, he does have to watch that. All right, back to zoning. Oh, great uh, success. It's going to be a great conversion. Nevermind gets put into the corner himself. 
uses Vortex again. Great 2D and converts into kill. Yeah, Pete's time going to take the second game as well. The thing is, uh, you know, I, I understand uh, the ability like on how to like counter some of Happy Chaos's things, how you would adapt against it. But as the Happy Chaos, what, what can you really tell him to adapt to for going further into the set, right? Just like zone better? Like, <laughs> what, what do you really tell them? <laughs> Just play the character better. Play play zoner. Play <laughs> zone more. I don't know. It's really weird. It's probably one of those ones where it's like um, you would have a better answer if you dived into Happy Chaos a bit more. You know what I mean? But it's it's one of those where it's like um, from a viewer's perspective, it's really hard to say what the Happy Chaos can do better. But um, he, he is playing a very solid zoning game, but you don't see him really pressure a lot. Oh well. I think the issue is uh, back, every back. time, every time we've seen Kyle pressure, they they've messed up the resources. So like they're they're comfortable yeah. with that zoning, but when it comes to like looking at the resources while actively like viewing what your opponent's doing on defense, it's a little more difficult. Yeah, I can't imagine it being hard going from one extreme to the other, but uh, you, you do gotta learn it for characters like Happy Chaos. And this should be a kill. Yeah, wow. I'm just, uh, I'm very impressed with Pizza Time's ability to convert and ability to just play patiently to get in. Yeah, like he's playing really patiently doing dash blocks and then every time he's getting in, he's either taking away a large chunk or he's getting rid of the burst, which is like a, a huge win in this matchup. Oh, wow. Oh, whiffs the button, but still catches him with the 2k. That's the beauty of big normals. <laughs> and a gun, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> he gets to play the neutral, not you. Oh, wow. Um, Kyle's going to take that round for... convincingly. Yeah, this is good for a pizza time because he is sitting on burst, so he can use that to push Happy Chaos into the corner if he's in that situation. Yeah, but so damn, now... He's good. Oh, I was about to say, you probably have to wait for that burst, though, because you don't want to get bursted out. Fortunately, made a ton of space, though. Great 2k. Oh, and this, one, this should kill once again, right? Oh no! Oh. Actually, I have to go for the reset. Oh. Runs up, goes for the he command grab. Feeling spicy. <laughs> That'll be it. Wow. I, I I like that. It's just like I could convert and kill you with a super, but um, nah. I feel like resetting into a throw. For the people in chat that don't know, this is a first to five format single elimination between eight champions of previous beginner brawl tournaments. Yeah, so the the sad thing is, if Kyle loses this set, uh, he's out. He, he can't become the, the champions of the champions. Yeah, it's do or die at this point. Kyle really got to figure something out, you know? Yeah, especially in a matchup like this. I, I do think um, Kyle's having a really good time for zoning, but it's just like when he's on defense, he just has a really rough time dealing with Saul's pressure. Really nice JD, though, to get out of the corner. Mm. Oh, doesn't get the most damage, the but you do get that positive he meter now. Yeah, ooh, you had the meter too. You could have done like round start two S into the concentrate super. I guess now you're all good though. It's all back. You got yeah. three bullets, two bars to work with, and burst. Oh, it, oh, oh, you don't want this? Missed. No, <laughs> oh, that was damage. not the round you wanted to give up. You had so much going for you. Did you see the damage off of the DP? That just like took I off I like, did. 30%. I also saw the burst being held on to until the very last moment and then get burst baited after all the damage is taken. Ah, uh, such a shame. Yeah, so far, Pizza Time's playing an amazing song in this matchup. Fantastic 6P. 6P. I want to see more of those for those preemptive uh, successes on Kyle's end. Yeah, and that should kill. Oh, wow. Yeah, Pizza Time's playing, playing out of his really mind tall. today. <laughs> Like, um, you, you can tell he was, like, ready for us, you know? Like, trying to play the Happy Chaos matchup, that's really annoying. So, let's let's do some counterplay. Let's practice up, learn how to dash block. Uh, so far, he's playing really solid. Um, there's only a few times where he's been caught during zoning, where I'm guessing that he messed up his dash block timings. But besides that, he's just been playing really solid. That's me. That's just what it is, though, playing against Happy Chaos. You know, getting your dash block hit. Yeah. It's one of the most frustrating things about him, but, uh, you know, it is a character defining trait. Yeah. I wonder if it's going to change for season two. 
It is a little aggravating how difficult it is to dash block, but I guess it is a skill issue. <laughs> That's so much of a skill issue for me, I'm not even allowed to dash in that matchup. Oh, gets the conversion. Not allowed to dash, period, in any matchup. <laughs> but Temkin life. Oh, oh wow. lets him off the wall. Big success. Burst out. He's going to need focus. You need because... to burst that. Okay, well, actually, now it's looking like a great burst. Yeah, he's got him in the corner. Oh, Reset yeah. Throw. Now you're dead on next hit. Has the meter to extend. PRCs. Oh, oh the no overhead. And that's going to kill. Pizza wow. time. Now one round off of taking this first set of the back for brawl. 5-0. What a dominating great statement at the very start. Resets in the command grab. Yep, gets him very quickly. Was he actually went for the command grab again? Very risky thing to do. After you've been zoned out by Happy Chaos for the entirety of the set. Yeah. Into the yeah, concentrate good job, trooper. Wilkinson. Okay, now he has to focus on his ammo here because he won't be able to zone very well on one bullet. Ooh, Kyle gets to the 6 PR round star that kind of left him in a spooky situation. Big great shot. Shot, yep. On the slide. No, no bullets. Wins. Once again, no, Kyle dying yeah. with two bars in the back. So unfortunate, but big congratulations for pizza time. Taking the first set, 5-0. It just seems like it should be in the Jackal's favor because it's the, you know, classic zoner versus big body type deal. But uh, Jacko isn't actually a classic zoner, though, I think is the, the better way to look at it. Jacko is yeah. kind of what Happy Chaos would be if he was a balanced character. Uh, so bad. <laughs> a character that has limited zoning, but in the areas that they do zone, they do it well. But more importantly, the zoning leads to like some kind of game plan. For Jacko, it's like throwing minions to neutral. Yes, they have the implication of like being hurt hitboxes as they fly through the air. But more importantly, once those minions land behind the opponent, you can get your game plan started with uh, some kind of sandwich pressure. Obviously, Happy yeah. Casa avoids... Uh, needing that set play, and then also just has better zoning and better pressure, but I mean... He also avoids playing the game. Very oh, similar wow. uh, archetypes, really, though. Love the close slash and the close already. slash. <laughs> you know it's my favorite. Yeah, Drone Alex come out, Fox flies in. A solid Very game. nice JD. 268. Chase the back dash of the JD, and I can already see... Oh, by the way, I didn't even realize Zorn's oh, actually wow. repping the skin right now. Ripping the yeah, back for skin. Yeah, he, <laughs> he is actually rocking it. Uh, so far, uh, Zorn's playing a pretty solid game, but now he has to kill a Jackal on a minimal amount of health. <laughs> yep, Lands great to be challenge. And that'll be it for the first round. I can see the influence of the great uh, Gold Lewis backpack <laughs> in, the, in this gameplay. <laughs> We're going to be a uh, that, that's big That's like every Gold Lewis in these tournaments. Oh, wait. Nice oh, five great 5 pitch. Gets Runs up, goes for the throw. Keep him locked down. Pressure. Oh, catch the back dash. Not able to convert, though. Oh, a classic. Use a minigun in neutral. Oh, 6 ps him. Gets a pretty good Oki situation with the minions. Oh, sorry, got him in the corner and is sitting on a bar mirror. They could probably land the hit here and get the kill. No! Oh, mess is up. Yeah, actually, what they were going for, they were expecting the close slash to be blocked, but sometimes you have to realize that that close slash you're using is the mix. It's the strike option, right? So if you kind yeah. of just assume it's going to be blocked and then go for a mix-up option like a 5D, well, it's going to mess up your conversion if you hit him before. Yeah. Um, and, and again, really that impressed one though with Alex's pressure. For, yeah, that one mistake really doesn't allow it for um, Zorn to take the uh, match. Well, nice five H. Five H is one oh, of the most imposing neutral moves in the entire game. Yeah, it can be really annoying at times. Oh wow, great little bit of lag. Oh, the JD. Uh, oh, this should be a kill. Is it skipping for you, or is that just uh, me? Oh, uh, backpack, you're kind of cutting out a little. Okay, no problem, no problem. They've got a lot of time to adapt, but time isn't the only issue. Sometimes you got to deal with the big 6H in your face as Gold Lewis and the pressure following up <laughs> into the sandwich. Yeah. Oh, no, just a run up at the row again. And he gets the minions. He's setting on two bars. Of me uh, Great well, block in the bar. 5D, though. Gets out of the corner. 6 8 4 to fall. No, 5H can be so fast and moving and forward. Gold. The forward momentum and also. Gold. So good in that move. Oh, big wow. 2D. Uh, Mess up the conversion, though. Gets it by the close slash. This should be big damage. I guess it wasn't. Maybe the red RC scaling messed it up a, a tad yeah. bit. Yeah, you know Red RC, it, it really does mess up combos. 
Uh, so far they're playing uh, a very... Oh wow, using JD to get over this XP. Got him in the corner, that's a great place for Gold Lewis. Gets the 2D, gets hard knocked down in the corner, and then they're just going into pressure, uses PRC reset, but misses the low behemoth. Uh, so far, Alex Fox got, <laughs> got him in the med screen from the minions, playing a good zoning game. Uh, and that's the that's a nice look at uh, where Gold Loose oh, 6P is currently wow. at in the game. It's going to whiff <laughs> while the minion is inside of it. You're just hoping that'll change in a few days? Yeah, we'd love to see that. Alex does have me to work with. Going to wow. do the landing JS. Sets up a minion. And stuff. that'll be it. Um... Revan start seems to be kind of jackal favored so far. Yeah, it's because uh, Zorn is not threatening 6P round start, which beats 5D and Far Slash. And I think yeah. it beats 5K as well, or maybe it just trades with it. Or maybe it's an even situation, I mean, where you both went for something. But yeah, the 6P is a pretty important round start. Obviously, you do lose to 2D if you do pick it. Oh, wow. Did you see that? The menu went right through the 6P. <laughs> yeah, I've <laughs> seen that before, brother. Oh, that's that just another so day wrong. in the life of a Gold Lewis man. Oh, Goes to the 5D again. Oh, I really wish Alex wouldn't rely so much on 5Ds to finish out rounds. Yeah. Uh, uh, Zorn is setting on burst here. Um, it's a shame that it's going to go to waste. Oh, wait. No, never mind. Gets the live. Gets a knockdown with a minigun. What's he going to go into? Goes into 2D. Yeah, opt to go for a frame a trap. To... Oof. Yeah. Uh, opt to go for the frame trap. Unfortunately, that going for the frame trap means that you end your turn. And because our friend Alex Fox blocked it, that means that uh, they got out for free, ended up challenging, and took that game. Tying it up one to one. Yeah. Uh, I could definitely see in this match going to distance because um, they're, they're both playing really solid. And um, I'm seeing only a very few mistakes from each side uh one of them is that alex fox is oh we're seeing a character swap that's crazy to, to swap characters this early i think i think you were doing fine in gold Lewis, but we will see the kai swap you're allowed to switch characters on a loss um do, do you think kai's the pick here uh in a neutral based matchup Kai's probably all right. I assume DP also gets some value up close. Yeah, as DP. As it DP. is DP, you know. When is DP bad? You know what I mean? Yeah, like name a matchup where it's bad. You can't. It doesn't well, maybe exist. Against happy hey, maybe against Happy Chaos because it's full screen. True. Oh, wow. Getting the resets in the corner. Oh, wow. We're back to the mid screen. Using JD, playing it safe. Oh, catch his 6H with their 6H. Oh, this is going to be good. Tries to bait the burst, doesn't really work out for him. Yeah, I think Alex is going to be really wary about situations like that where burst can be baited. So, like, I I'd say so far they play a decent game with it. Oh, gets the air throw. This is going to be great for Jacko. Uh, misses with the 2D. Uh, <laughs> So far, um, it, it just seems like a very scrambly match. Oh, Big gets throw. the throw. This is going to be good. Finally, Kai gets to start the turn. Gets a throw again. Has the meter, following it up. 2P into the throw. Fantastic tech by Alex. And the wow. 2K going to close out that round. Yeah, I, I like the RC from Kai. He went from a med into a med into a med. Uh, I love that, very man. Good mix. <laughs> the mix is crazy. <laughs> Big 6P, though. That's only that's the only real mix with Kai, you know? Will I 6P yeah. you again? <laughs> that 6P is a very good button. This is going to be a good situation for Alex Fox, but he uh, gets burst to the way, so that's not really going to work out for him. Oh, oh this is going to be great. Uh, so far, they keep getting out of the corner really um, easily. And I think both players need to adapt to that, like calling out corner escapes. I think what happened there is uh, Zorn not only wants to play like very reactively and passively with Kai, but also he was respecting Alex Fox's meter. Mm. Oh, goes to the 5D, no punish from the 5H. Yeah, but the problem with playing reactively is that if you don't react fast enough, you kind of let them out for free. Oh, that's just going to be great for um, Alex Fox. Shouldn't kill the... Nah, it's killing. <laughs> 
<laughs> He's in shock. <laughs> 236 Skag and a whiff. That's really a... Uh, that's one of the main things that Jack has to focus on. It's like, will my 236k whiff here? Yeah. It's very important for the pressure. Oh, great 2D guy with the pressure. Oh, uh, what a trade. Oh, the cross up? Um, Kinda scrambly right now. Gets the throw, this is gonna be really good for Zorn. Try and bait the burst, goes into another throw. He can get an easy kill here. He doesn't even need RC. You could have got the OTG and uh, ended up the round. Yeah, very spooky situation. Once you're just floating there in front of the opponent, you're holding under burst, but you die in one hit. Yeah. Not really uh, much you can do. It's a major bet. You you really need to go like, okay, I'm going to go for the burst. Oh, they called me out. Or maybe I don't go for it and I hold on to it for the longest time. Regardless, I think we saw a really, really good counter pick there from Zorn. Yeah, he, he's playing a very solid guy in this matchup, but the mid screen um, tends to like really scrambly, uh, even in the corner as well. This this matchup seems really just just a large scramble going on. Um, it, it's kind of like when it was like Jacko versus Goldless. It seemed a bit more structured, where it's like Jacko knows when to get the sandwich pressure, knows when to get him in the corner and stuff like that. And uh, Goldless, when he gets his pressure going, it seems like it's it's very structured where it's gonna go. This one, it just seems really weird. And um, oh no, like, like it's blowing. the messed up confirm goes into a DP mid screen. Doesn't get punished though. Actually, gets rewarded for it. Fantastic tech once again from Alex. Oh, Zorn wow, being pushed back by the JDs. Burst coming out aggressively. Fantastic bait in the six P. Doing a really good job with the minion pressure. Is sitting on a bar meter. I think they could get the kill here. Never mind. The minion was there. Yeah, it's going to be multi-hit due to the minion. Going to break the wall. Big scum dipper into the RC. Alex does have two bars to work two with, though. Bars. Oh, goes for the oh. throw. And the OTG. Pulls out the round. No need for the meter or the burst. Uh, this is going to be a really good round for Alex Fox. Starting off with a uh, burst. As oh, what really a chase. Good. Oh, you could have oh. gotten a close slash there. Oh wow, this is going to be pretty bad. No, once again does the oh, empty no. hop into getting thrown. Really good situation for Alex Fox here. Setting a bar meter. Got a positive bonus. It's going to be really good for minion pressure. Another great tech. This time opting not to go for the throw, but instead it goes for a button in the air. But then a tech immediately right after. 2D going to get a counter hit. Using the 5H to keep minions. those minions close. Oh, I thought it, that All minion right, was going to go aggressive. behind for sandwich. Oh, you are going to be able to lock this down. Oh. Are, are you seeing a checking the opponent's connection right now? Yeah. Okay. Okay, and they're, I think they're we're back good. To it. I think uh, we're No, Whoa. I got a little desync thing going on, I think. Unless they. Are they, they just five ping at each other for you? Yeah, yeah, they are. I think they're button checking. Okay, yeah. You know, yeah, like, yeah. yeah, the connection's not that bad, right? <laughs> I think we're good. Alex is going to use okay. this time to pull out a minion. <laughs> Get the set play while they're not looking. It's a smart plan. Playing a very solid neutral game. Oh, this is going to uh, yep. be a win. Close eyes going to pop up really high. Burst going to be a Canadian burst, and that's rough, man. That's really rough. Uh, yeah, that seemed really, really rough there at the end with the connection. And uh, I'm wondering, are these, are these guys um, close or are they pretty far in the game? Yeah? I have no idea. What I do know is that it's two to two. Is we're going to swap like back to gold list now? <laughs> like one loss, I swap. Change. One loss, I swap. Uh, I would like to see another character change. I don't know why. Uh, oh, yeah, we're seeing a character to the gold list. I guess uh, I this is the, the plan... yeah. The game plan is keep your opponent on their toes, never give them a chance to get comfortable. Yeah, exactly. Because it's like you play a long set with someone, they get used to the habits you have with that character, right? And and this type of scenario where you're constantly changing the characters, you're changing the flow of the game. Especially going from someone who has a pretty solid zoning game to then someone who doesn't and relies solely on getting in. So it is definitely a big mix up. But I think Alex Fox can uh, handle the Gold Lewis a little better. But um, yeah, if Gold Lewis gets going, it's a little rough for him. Great 6H, putting him really far. Yeah, 6H just does work in the matchup. It's uh, it's pretty much like Ramothal Farsage because it'll just catch. Gold Lewis at anywhere in the screen. 
Yeah, because he's such a big guy. Using JD. Big JD to get in though. Forward six. FD gonna push away that 2D though. No lockdown. Yeah, Santa the minions. He, he's allowed Cashes to do out that. Some damage. Match up. Oh no, Jacko puts himself in the corner. Well, great pressure using the JPs. Yep, RC to stay in. Goes for a cross up. This is going to be Another good hit. for gold list. Yeah, this, this should be really, really good, good pressure. pressure. We have no defensive options here from Alex, but the 5 h challenge is actually going to trade. Oh, another good situation Oh, Drone going to come list. out, though. Wow, actually went for close action to throw. What? That is not a, oh, a very common tick no. throw. We're going to see a punish <laughs> with the minion. Should be some good the damage. Punish. Alex going to take that round. All right, using 5k for round start again. Just seems like a really good button in this matchup. It's oh, a wow. nice low committal button. Very nice pressure. Oh, great yeah, dirty into the super. And that should kill. Dead? Yep. Yeah. The wow. classic Gold Lewis gaming game plan. Classic get him in the corner. Watch the health deplete. Oh, oh. <laughs> sees the whip 6 speed goes for the run up throw. Mini coming out. Do you have the sandwich ready? Are you going to burst? No, you're going to hold it. Goes for the 5 you once again. No punish, though. You're actually in far slash range. Uh, gold goes far slash is 10 frames, so you can punish even a gold burst. No. Uh, oh, I Big thought, hit, though, I on thought, the cross-up. I thought charge 5D was only, like, main to 7. Is it? Oh, wait, yeah. no. Sorry, sorry. Whoa, 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 whoa. My bad. I could be messing something. Uh, you, maybe oh, you're right. Wow. Maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. Uh, Alex is setting on the bar meter. If he could get a minion out, uh, that'd be really good for this uh, meter usage. Uh, he's got all three of them. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> he's got another bar meter, so this is going to be really good for me. Yeah, as well. it's looking rough. Yep. He gets out the drone, but unfortunately, Gold was not able to follow it up, getting locked down, literally clapped by a minion from full screen. <laughs> which is nothing um, new. So here's the question. Will Zorn change his character? I absolutely again. think that he will. I, obviously, I would not like that. I'd much rather watch a Gold Lewis, but uh, I think we're seeing a Wait, swap. No. no, no swap. Oh, did, he's really playing the main game. He's mixing you up. He's committed. By the way, wild card. Thank you for the eight months. All right. Uh, again, this is this one. is seeming really tight because it's like um. It has been always down to the last round. I don't think there's been a match where it's like been one-sided so far. Someone in chat asked, is this first to five? Yes, yes it is. It is a first to five single elimination format. Every person here had a week to prepare for this matchup. Yeah. Uh, the last match is first to 100. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Actually true, yeah. <laughs> Grand finals, it will be a first to 100. <laughs> oh, wow. Setting on the army here. This is going to be really good if you can get the minions out, especially with Gold Lewis in the corner. Big challenge. Oh, oh outside of the range. Probably a cross spear. Yep. Mess up the timing, though. Oh, gets 5 H. Burst out up. on both sides. Wow. Oh, uh, this RC. Is be good. Oh, no. Accidentally stole the corner. I guess it doesn't <laughs> matter too much when you're swinging a coffin that does that much damage. But uh, that could have been a little rough. Say, says, oh, no. Still murders. Yeah, that's life. That was a great oh, five wow. pian tier on the JD. Runs up, goes for the throw. Yeah. Minions, minions are out and about. That's and now they're back. Still setting up arm here. This can be really good for Jacko to get into a good zoning situation, especially like right now. When I say Never 6 h catches everything, from. I mean it because uh, Goldos went for super jump round start and uh, got caught. Even super jump forward, even. Pretty rough. Yeah. Runs in, goes oh, for the 2 X. I Again, think at this point, we should see some extensions. I have to get them to block like a far slash or a 2S because Alex is very respectful wow. of the 6A4 follow-up. So he might be able to steal a turn. Big yeah. 2P. Nice, JD. Has the RC oh, to extend. Be good for him. Oh, drops it. Oh. Gets an OTG. Alex able to jab out. Gets the oh, hit. No, you didn't confirm. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Could have killed there. Obviously, they didn't. It's still sitting on burst, so it's not necessarily a bad situation. At this point, I would like to see burst into drone. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. You got to use I, it. Okay, die. he's still alive. Die. Still sitting on bar mirror. Still sitting on burst. Flying with behemoth. No. No. Tried to 2S the JD. Oh. He pressed the bad button. No. Oh. 
And just like that, Alex Fox is on match point, up four to two over Zorn. I think we're seeing the swap here. I really do. I think Zorn's playing fine in the gold list. The problem <laughs> with punish the two eyes. I think the the problem here is that uh, they don't really have a solution to some of the neutral options that Jacko has. Back to Kai. Yeah, we are going to see the Kai change. I do think yeah, this is I, correct. Was I that was a misinput hoping. Skyfish? Probably. It probably was a misinput uh, on Skyfish. For, for me, I'm kind of hoping that, that his last character pick was going to be something like really white. Like he just pulls the a happy chaos. He's like, I'm only yeah, using not, not, for not, him. Not play. even that. It's just a character he doesn't even play. It's like he's bringing out the Testament, and it's like, why? Oh, pulls well. out the Goku. Uh, <laughs> the Goku. <laughs> With the Drip Mod. Yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, so yeah, round start here. I, I can imagine it being very um, equal sided compared to like the the gold list one with Alex Fox having really safe buttons. But it's the same case with Kai. Big six P. Great knockdown. It's insane what uh, Zorn can do on a character with a good six P. Yeah. Oh wow, he's got two minions out, but they're not really going to be that helpful in that situation. Great five K conversion. Oh, respecting the DP. Going to catch him with a clap. Don't try it at home. Big yeah. block and the Scum oh, Dipper. No. The Scum Dipper. The, one of the best moves in the game. I right, have two bars to work with Alex. What are you going to do? PRC. Option I'll go for the throw this time because they've got tech previously. Yeah. Uh, I think it'd be pretty crazy if they uh, went for um, run up throw. Oh, wow. No! <laughs> Not the Kai mix up. And just like that, Alex is on set point. The commentators curse. <laughs> Say the thing. Fantastic tech. Wow. Alex's defense has looked so strong. Yeah, so far very solid. Not game. only against the gold list, but also against the Kai, dude. Teching like all the throws. Oh my god, grab Grabs the DP, DP meaty. Alex is looking dirty today. Yeah, using JD, playing a very solid neutral game. Gets in, it's not relying on YRC. Like Use the RC to stand. I want to see a super. I want to see, I want to see peak trolling. Fantastic projectile, gonna catch it. Big 6v2, six six gets feet. the knockdown. Watch for the air throw from Alex to close it out, gets the mini now. Yeah. Oh, oh wow. That and was a sick it. conversion. What a conversion from Alex Fox on the air throw. Yeah, Um. and this match, it seems like it could be a rough one. Uh, I'm not too sure yet. DP? We're gonna see the uh, truly psycho DP there. <laughs> wow, he, he really did just go for it. It's very respectful. Uh, 2D, solid button. Uh, don't think it's that great there, though. Runs in oh. with the overhead. That is also plus and block. Yeah, gets the conversion. Very Doing nice. Fun very, very good damage into the positive meter. Ops to jump in. Great low profile, though, from Ali. Gets hit by the 2D, though. <laughs> And you're dead. Be a good conversion. Uh, that, that's another thing Leo has. He has really good conversion. Um, they're not as like good as like Sauls. Oh, with the Seiko DP. DP. <laughs> Seiko DP. <laughs> oh, mess up the back turn though. Has to go for regular pressure. Oh, actually steals the corner at the very end. Yeah. Oh wow. Oh, that's very nice be conversion really as well. Leo. It didn't break the wall. Didn't break. Oh, actually, I think he meant to burst bait there. Wasn't holding but back, though. Great block. He's not holding back on these DP. <laughs> no, I think you. if you're playing Leo, like, there are times where you definitely should play like a Maniac. Yeah, because then you get people scared on uh, your wake-up situations. It becomes a 50-50. Not just getting people up. scared. You, you want to make people frustrated. <laughs> 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 Trust me, it's a mind game. <laughs> Yeah, Leo's really good to be playing the layer 5 main game. <laughs> yeah, no, no, definitely. it looks like layer 1, but trust me, this is layer 15, you know? Yeah. I'm anticipating that you're anticipating there's a not DP in every gap, but I'm going to play around your expectation by DPing in every gap. <laughs> <You know? laughs> and I and know you're expecting me to DP and then not DP and then play around that, and that's why to play around that, I still DP in every gap. <laughs> <laughs> and I win both mind games. <laughs> uh, the, the craziest mind game that some leaders do is like they DP in all the right times, and then the one time you go to call it out, they don't do it. Yeah, then they start mashing 2D. <laughs> then, they, <laughs> then they challenge and steal a turn 2D in a cross up, you know? <laughs> like It's like you swear these guys are cheating because it's so perfect. Yeah.
Oh, wow, the intros are really long. This is cursed. You can't make me watch the intro on game two. They're making us watch the intro on game two. <laughs> I mean, Leo's intro is pretty cool. He got the whole squad and everything. Me and the boys? After DPing you on Wake Up? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> You know, if we see a round star DP, that'd be pretty cool. Well, don't give, don't manifest it, you know. <laughs> oh, round star 2D, another classic. Oh, whiffing the close oh, slash. The, the other thing about Leo that makes him really good, a lot of his buttons just catch defensive options really well. What a 2H. Oh, no. no conversion, though. Yeah. Real Probably cross up. No. Nope. Stay stuff. same side. Use the RC to stay in. Oh wow, good stuff from big Nino. hits. Whip Whiffs the throw. Oh wall slump. Into the low. Into wall slump. Into the overhead. Fantastic block. Fantastic <laughs> DP, DP to follow it up. DP. DP. No bar. First coming out. Low profile is the oh, entry, but he was waiting for it this time. Oh, and, did you see ooh, yeah. how they played the note there? Yeah, Battle of the like, Aerial Normals. Wow, did you did you see that really good note there? How they made it slightly go over the projectile, but still made it go back into the path afterwards? We love it. Oh, the oh, DP the clash! Cancel. <laughs> I keep pressing H, what do you do about it? <laughs> into the overhead, safe flow, oh my god. It's really dirty that Leo can um, stance cancel the overhead and then be plus five. It goes for the raw DP. Great DP. Oh, it's another Not DP. a safe Then even the ERC. Then even the ERC. Yeah, I think uh, it's really rough going into the Leo matchup not knowing how to safe jump off your knockdowns. It's pretty much a prerequisite to getting to play the game. If you don't show yeah. the Leo that you know how to safe jump and you, you're punishing them big for doing it, then there's no reason for them to stop DPing. It, it gets like that. It's like, it's if you don't have the um the knowledge to play around it, you're not really scaring them into not using the tool. But I guess Eno is one of those characters that, you know, even if they call you out appropriately, they're not really getting the best reward for what they're doing, you know? Yeah, because... They, they, they sting like a bee, you know? They don't really do a lot of damage. They sting like a bee, huh? That was, yeah, that's, yeah. That's the metaphor here, huh? Yeah, it's like, here's Leo hitting like a, like a, a wrecking ball. <laughs> yeah. Leo sting, you know what I mean? Yeah, and, then, yeah. and then, no, I get it. Like no, for, for sure. Yeah. We're going to see a big 5-inch. <laughs> DP once again. Close slash under the 2S. Going to force the burst out as well. Probably another one. Yep, another note. I'm really liking Ali's note usage. Yeah, so far, whenever they're at full screen, um, Lil Ali is playing a really good um, neutral game with the, the notes and using the show the big tree, but it's like, then they're in Leo's face afterwards, and oh my the god, lands grab. the grab. Yep. High, uh, low? No, I grab. <laughs> high, low? No, 28 frame for all. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do about it? Oh, wow. Great stuff, get in the corner. What are we going for? Gets DP'd. It's a classic. Oh, Froze, that's so evil. Wow, he's still able to go from stance into that odd conversion. Can super off that. Parry into the super. Runs forward, not able to take a turn. Will bait this out, gets the close slash. Wait, close slash into 2S converts? Off a of oh, high yeah. hit? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Lee's what? buttons are good. <laughs> How high does the 2S go? <laughs> it's supposed like as it and in combos it's a really good juggle tool because it, it it actually catches really well it catches too well um it, it's a good a great button like that, that's all leo is. leo close slash spikes down oh i see i see oh right yeah 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 okay i didn't even realize what you meant but 2s is still really good though when it when it comes to like catching higher up opponents would you say that Mushroom is morbing right now? Oh yeah, he's morbing. He's like morbing out of his mind. What time would you say it is right now at this, uh, you know, at this juncture? Uh, half past morbin o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the DP! Big DP into the cross-up. 
backs off. Goes Try for... to expect the wake up yeah. throw. Yeah, it was definitely a good way of playing around that because a lot of people do tend to wake up throw that. But um, I don't think Lil Ali's looking for that. I Great do DP. like calling it out. Even if it doesn't work, like you're still showing your opponent like, hey, I'm looking for this. Yeah, and it makes them think twice about it. It's like, oh, maybe not next time. Yeah, oh, just the, the wow. Leo lockdown so is too safe. strong, man. It's so safe. <laughs> Big 6-6. Like, you know, you know not getting enough safe. damage. Best up the conversion. Will you be punished for this? No! Oh. Able to 6-P. <laughs> Probably the coolest looking 6-P in the game. He just uses his raw energy to flex. He could wow. be Morbin. What a jump in in the JH. Uh -oh. Fantastic back, back dash, though. Great 6 as well. Wow. Oh, no. Oh, messed up the conversion. Great backlash in the JH. Big bait. I want to see conversion really this time, though. Really Decent really chunk good. of damage. And at the safe jump. And to zipper. Yeah, this is going to be really good for Eno, but... Um, Mushroom still Ed's, has meter to work with us. So we're going to see... Yeah, I know it. DP into the RC. <laughs> steals the turn. Now, will you die before you get a chance to use any of that meter? I think Ollie needs to threaten a super, and he's got to threaten it now. Oh, tell me you didn't die. Oh. <laughs> he's so evil. Mushroom is evil. <laughs> and just like that, Mushroom is up 4-0 against Lil Ali. Man. It would be pretty crazy if he DP'd the round star coming up though. <laughs> this is this is um Panda asking for a DP round star, it'd be pretty epic. Uh but uh th th this is seeming really rough for Low Alley because they don't have the um safe jump timings down. And uh, they just keep getting called out. And even when they do get it, um Leo was sitting on a bar meter, so he just uh RC's DP and he's he's fine. I think when we look at that final situation a little closer, uh, I think it was ultimately a mistake to try to take a turn because all you're, you're, what you're doing is giving Leo a free turn, right? By engaging on them with uh, meter because they do get that yeah. DP into RC guaranteed every time. The only counterplay to it is that you can wire see it back if you have meter yourself, but Ali did not have meter. Oh, wow. These are really good call outs from Leo Ali. Yeah, Ali leveling up since that last game. <laughs> Nice little wall break into the 5P oh, the cross up anti air. Great into the 6P, into the HL. Wow. Great round. Definitely the strongest round that we've seen so far from Ali. <laughs> but Mushroom is not How out. How high did that catch? Big throw on the cross up. Oh, with the oh, normal. No. What a fantastic call up with the throw by Mushroom. <laughs> oh my god. And then into the super. This is going to be really good for Mushroom. He's going to get a hard knockdown. And he has Leo, so good mix is coming. Yeah, he cleans out. Uh, last round here, Low Alley really needs to fight for it. If not, they're gonna be put out. Oh wow! It's a good start. It is a good start. Oh, yep, and an even better DP. <laughs> <laughs> great throw oh, though. Great throw. Ali not letting it happen anymore. Yeah, playing a really solid game. Big block. Calling out the DP. That Will should this be, be enough? Killed, right? No, no, because they use JH instead of 6H convert. Still in the lead, oh, though. No. RC to extend, overhead, into the 2K. We'll nice. close out that round. And Ali will not be going home 05. It's at least going to be 1-5 at this rate. <laughs> <laughs> now, big, big game, though. Ali was looking very clean there. Yeah, playing a very solid game uh, in the last match there. It, it looked like they um, woke up a bit and then just started playing a lot better after that, like calling out burst using Stroke the Big Tree. Um, just playing a solid neutral game, doing more cross-ups. I, I don't even know how he crossed them up in the corner. I, I, I got confused. Uh, but it, it's he's doing a pretty solid game since that last match, and he needs to keep that rhythm now. He has to not let Leo get the rhythm and keep his rhythm going. You see, Panda, I think the issue is uh, I ain't got rhythm. <laughs> I ain't got rhythm. <laughs> All the Zoomers in uh, chat, you're very confused, but uh, us Boomers... <laughs> Know what's going on? Oh, oh what just challenges! Oh my after, god! After yeah, this is the mind slump? game. It's actually incredible how Mushroom, in a first to five set, has guessed the like the correct defensive option like every time. Yeah, Whether that, that's, it be what I'm deep that's what I'm saying. That's the way Leo's are. Or... 
Yeah, it, it really is crazy. It's the Leo buff, dude. Uh, and then just challenges with 2D on wake up to catch the back dash. Like, Ollie is trying to respect the DP and is getting called out by back dashing to give up the pressure. Big wire C, challenge the 2K, and that'll be it. No, no, someone yeah. in chat said, gotta love regular show. <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 no. That was from uh, Corey in the house. Oh, wow. Great combo. Oh, this is looking really good for Dude, is Ollie uh, gaming? Ollie. Yeah, dude, he's leveled up. Yeah, that was the... He's keeping the rebel. That was the same situation we saw last time, by the way, when they whiffed the JK, but this time they were able to tech the throw. Oh, bro. great conversion. Oh, okay, they handed off the controller to Big Brother. That's what's going on here. <laughs> Then I level up my game, so I passed it to someone who already leveled up their game. Oh, wait, it's gonna be a whiff into the big. Yes! Ollie looking wow. strong now, dude! Yeah, honestly, he's just. He's playing a better game. Um, and what I, game I, would that be? Uh, uh, like Fortnite or uh, Valorant? <laughs> a game uh, with a skin system, maybe? Uh, Minesweeper. Call of Duty Mobile? <laughs> uh. <laughs> Honestly, though, uh, I, I I wonder how this is going to keep going. Do you think the um that is the mushroom comeback is going to be? Is that what yeah, you're do asking you think me? comeback's possible, or do you think Mushroom oh, will man. have a moment where he goes like, wait, I haven't DP'd enough? <laughs> <laughs> you know, the latter is probably more likely. But, uh, you know, I'm rooting for Ali. I'm rooting for Ali. But that being said, you know, uh, what I'm rooting for doesn't really matter. I'm also rooting for Gold Lewis buffs, and we know how that's going. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's not happening. <laughs> Gold Lewis nerfs more late. So true. Big whiff. Oh, that's a really good whiff punish. Very nice jailed 2k. Gonna mix him up. Gets him all the wake up 2s! Gets it. Force the burst oh. out. All he does is mean to work blocked. with. Oh, great DP. He reacted to the run. Cross up? Nope. Yeah, big reaction on the run. <laughs> Should be a punish. <laughs> Tried to wait for the burst. Goes for the reset. That's gonna open him up anyways. That is an Eno privilege. And wow. Ollie gonna close out that round as well. Have they taken four rounds in a row? Or five rounds in a row uh, now? And they did lose a round in the first match that they won. True, true, I, true, I do true, true, think true. they're on four now. I do think they're on four or three. This is looking really, really good for uh, Mushroom in this round. And to the hard knockdown coming up. What's the mix? Right, uh, I'm mashing throw and wake up 100% of the time. I'm mashing throw and wake up every time. Well. You the guy had by me to it. No, that's, that wasn't me. I would have thrown it. Trust me. Trust me. I throw those. Right. Trust me. Low Alley, if if Low Alley loses this round, he is out. So he's gonna have to really dig deep. Yeah, no chance for a comeback. Oh. He loses this round. Big challenge of the two K. Gonna low profile the JH into the cross up. No throw by Ali. Jumps in with the JH. Gets a nice little conversion. conversion. Throws out the note. Tries to lock him down. Will with the stroke. Doesn't matter though. Both burst off the table, but. Ollie gets it right back. Playing Both a very solid um, punishing game so far with uh, Eno. Ollie is playing uh, very passive right now. Playing oh, at a much farther range. Really good punishes. Yeah, how will they use this meter? Probably just note played safe. Yep. Oh, man. Oh, that's, that was that, greedy, but we take it. it. Right? Yeah, that will be it. Ali now making it 3-4. Wow. It's a bit of a sweat. Yeah, uh, like again, taking it to the final round <laughs> and two matches of where you could be eliminated, kind of scary, not gonna lie. This would uh, be the like, comeback of the century, by the way. I think the only big difference we've seen is like the, the range that Ali is playing at. And yeah. this really goes to show the importance of the first to five format. Had this been a first three, this would have been over a long time ago. We would have been on to another set. But because it's a first to five, Single elimination, the stakes are higher than ever, and Ollie yeah. had appropriate time to uh, adapt. The question is, how will Mushroom adapt back? Yeah, because adapting is the name of the game at this point, because it's no longer you're fighting the uh, the character, you're fighting the player's character, you know what I mean? So what little Ali's done to adapt is that they play outside the range, right? And they play a very solid whiff punishing game. And I've noticed that it's been working out for them in the last two matches. So far, they've not been able to get nope. that opportunity here, but they're doing a good job. Oh, oh fakes the overhead. Yeah, that's tough blocking the mix. Mushroom playing from behind. Oh, big bait. No, oh, not going to get the punish. No. Oh, you're able to jump after that? No, I think they just messed with the punish. I, I'm 99% sure that is punishable. Probably. 
sends out the note, making them really safe. Yeah. Oh, gets deep, you know, gets. That was the risk I was talking about last time when we saw Ali. This will be minus, by the way, but not punishable. But yeah. uh, that's the risk that we saw last time where Ali did the JH and JH wow. and left a really big gap. And I was kind of afraid they were going to get DP'd this time. Mushroom was there waiting for the DP. Oh, great knife kick. Oh, and this XP closed out the room. Ali wow, going to close this it is up. actually insane. This is actually insane. Are we going to see reverse five? You know what I think the play was, dude? Yeah. I think Mushroom should have stopped DPing like two games ago and then started DPing, like DP again for the last game, <laughs> if it happens. <laughs> Yeah, get in their mind, make it so they think DP's no longer a threat, and they use it in the most key moment. Yeah, I think at this point, Ali is kind of reading oh, the shameless. spots that Mushroom is D DPing in, and it's not working so well. Big wait. Try to get Dumb that burst out. Nice hit. Big hit. That, that's is, definitely this, it. This should be Leo's round. Yeah, and that, that was definitely Leo's. burst safe as well. And Mushroom could close it out here, but Ali could also tie it up four to four. What are we going to see? Big great fight. Great 2H round start. Yeah, the, the round start's looking great for Ali here. Yeah, it's setting out. No, both players are setting on burst, so it, it's going to work out well for them. Either or. One can go for gold, one can go for blue. Try to play it safe. But so far, very solid game for Ali. Has positive bonus. So great throw on the cross up. Throw. Sends up. No, into the overhead. Gets the low, misses the 2D conversion. It's sitting on a bar mirror. They could do anything with it. It's oh, a dive no, kick. No, it's the JS gonna hit you. Hit under. Gets him with a two three success. Jumps him with the JS locks down. Ali gonna force the burst Great out. Burst. Has a big health advantage. Doesn't want to throw this away. Oh, does not call out the burst. No anti air on the jump in. Has the meter to extend. Five P's into the two S. Jumps in again. Once again, no anti air. Was waiting for it this gets time. The dive kick. It's the dive kick. I really love that option from Ali because not only does it win the air to air battle, but in the case that uh, that mushroom tried to stagger, you might have caught them with a whiff punish. Yeah. And just like that, uh, Ali ties it a four, four to four. <laughs> it's four four. It's actually insane. No one thought this was happening. Uh, I don't know who's going to win. It did seem mushroom favored at first, but then Lil Ali, he's playing the game of adaption and he's playing it really well. Uh, but now. It's like it looks like Mushroom needs to dig deep. He he's the one that needs to dig deep and really try you know, and get a you hold know, we of need, the game plan. We need round start need? DP into round start DP. We need I think round is the start option. DP. I think it's need... literally the option that we need to see from here on. Wait, are yeah, you watching? Yeah, are they he... playing? Um, no, they're not playing. Okay, you, oh that scared me because they're on the thing right now. They're just not playing. They probably if he haven't did round start yet. DP, it shows that he's Morbin, you know, and this is it shows that he's really ready to to just start Morbin time, you know. <clears throat> okay, Whew. I gotta regain composure. I couldn't imagine being in either player's uh, shoes here because little oh, yeah, is holding yeah. the pressure just... of like converting this into a win, and Mushroom <laughs> is in the business here of uh, not choking this in front of like yeah, two hundred people because it's like you were four zero up. Could get five five will reverse, and then it's like Ali needs to really bring the comeback. But the thing is, Ali has it in his favor because he's getting rhythm going. Well, Mushroom isn't. His rhythm's getting absolutely like destroyed right now. Big so six, though. That could do something for the momentum. It really is. Burst coming out for Mushroom. Jumps in with the JH once again. Going to get low profiled Great by that H trope. An option we've seen time and time again. Two K into the two D into the DP, Rats but you are actually close enough to get thrown. It's going to count for both this, options. Yeah, this is going to be really good for uh, Low Alley. Decides uh, not to super. Yeah, decide. Well, I don't think they they might not have been a Marine. No, they definitely can dash and super. I take it back. Yeah, yeah. So oh, I, no! I don't know. Oh, yeah. Unfortunately, the stroke. Into oh, the dive oh, kick. Could have our seed there and killed. Playing a really safe game right now. And the note going to go through the projectile. Going to close out this round. Ali oh won the round from closing this. My heart is pumping. I can't even imagine what these guys are feeling like. Eight truck plus range into the six H. Locks down with the note. Find yeah, a low low. Goes to the DP. Calls out the DP. The skin deal a lot of damage into the OK. What we're getting overhead into the low. I, I would burst bait if I'm yep if I'm Ali here. Unfortunately, not able to. Yeah, JH, setting on a bar into the H truck. Your plus six H with the frame trap. Should this kill? No, no, no. it's not going to lead to a wall break. Does have two bars to work with though, and. Triple overhead into victory. And did the perfect. Closes it out with the perfect. Ali takes Little. the set five to four. Backpack is dying, coming in and out of reality. But let's go, low Ali. That was insanity. Holy hell, a five-volt reverse?
Yeah. Obviously, Ramaphal uh, does have a lack of defensive options besides that reversal super. Big far slash ramp yeah. start. Gold loses is one frame faster. Uh, so far, I, I've seen Blazo play. I know he's got pretty solid gold loss. And Alyosha, I, I've seen them play sometimes for the, the replays. And I thought they had a pretty decent ramp. So this would be like an overall pretty good match to watch. As we're seeing here, Blazo getting the corner pressure as well. I believe uh, Al Yusha was the player that got the most top eights in all of the league, both in uh, Americas and EMEA. Yeah. Um, but I think we need to see them start FD in some behemoths because they are eating chip right now. Big 6P. Not the biggest conversion, but it does run up go for the rethrow. Great challenge on the 2P. Able to extend into pressure as well. Yeah. Jumps it's out of the corner up. with the JH. Oh, puts yourself oh. back in the corner, though. Not the brightest idea against Ramaphal. Goes for the throw. Oh, I believe this was baited. No. no, it wasn't. I take it back. I take everything back. Are we going to see it? Blazel's playing no? a pretty okay. solid game. Falls up on the drum with the Splunky into the 2D. Oh, wow. Setting on the, the most <laughs> minimal amount of health, and then 2 has becoming an actual option that was useful in Sani. That's crazy. 2S is a 42 frame poke, and uh, somehow Blazu able to make it work. I thought it was a 60 frame. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, actually, after the nerf, yeah, it is a 60 <laughs> frame. The old 60 frame mid that gets 6 speed. Um, but yeah, round start, you'd think it'd be in um, Ram's favor, but uh, so far, Blazu has been taking it on the round start. Um, is there is there any counterplay that um, Alyosha could be? Oh, six P. Yeah, six P <laughs> is the answer to far slash. Most far slash in the game, if not all. Mm. And because Ram's got such a good one, they can convert very well. Yeah. Oh, great, great challenge on the two P though. Gets out of the corner with the cross up. Converts the into the wall. Big six eight four. No, actually drops it though at the end. I didn't even know that was a thing you could do. I do that to you literally every game we've ever played. Okay, dude. Well, maybe I should pay attention a bit more. <laughs> <laughs> Big oh, bait wow. though on the burst. Into the super. Oh, wow. That was smart. That was really smart. Great recognition of the situation by Al Yusha. What's can wow. IBFD round start for? Whatever Are we meaning this? Are, are, <laughs> is, is, is he that going? I don't know, because you'd have to delay exactly like whatever, however many frames their thing is, right? Whether it be like yeah. 10 frames, 12 frames, whatever. I, I have to assume it's probably a dash block that's just uh, working. Uh, and Sunny. <laughs> Close slash into the sword throw. Doesn't actually have a sword to throw. Oh, not and like this. Another throw. What's the next mix? And tech. Low slash. Oh, the I low pressure pressure's looking safe. clean. Yeah. Uh, so far, uh, playing a very solid RAM game when they get going. But I think they find the neutral kind of awkward to fight around with gold loose. And I think that's just due to um, uh, lack of experience with the matchup. I mean, I think it, the matchup is just kind of rough and neutral. <laughs> Period. Yeah, but it's like, um, oh right, so you f you, you think it's r rough both sides? Uh, no, rough for gold was. I thought you were talking about uh, Blazu. Oh right, I'm saying it's been rough for um Alyosha, um because oh, really? they they aren't. Yeah, because they haven't. I, I'm saying they're like lacking matchup experience because they're finding the the neutral kind of rough, and I'm like they should be finding it very solid though, you know. Because it is Ram favored. I don't think we're seeing oh, that wow. many neutral yeah. issues. Oh, JD wow. over the 6P? That's the overhead. This is going to be a really uh, good. Throw I don't like this conversion here. Yeah, cut pretty much threw away the meter. That should have been a far slash punish. Yeah. Fast off into the again? Skyfish. Those are the 426, hoping that Ram runs into it. Jumps in oh, with the, the cross-up, cross converts with a 5P into the 6A4, and that's going to close really out that round player. in a very stylish manner. 2 6 eight round start, big whiff punish by the far slash, and then a 5H followed up. Great challenge from Blazu, oh, gets the knockdown. And away you oh, throw will shift the momentum entirely. Alyo shot oh, does with the meter. Yeah. I really like that. Oh, the stage is really cool. Wait, you are the TikTok guy. Yes, I am the TikTok guy. It's true. The TikTok guy? Yeah, yeah I upload TikToks at TikTok.com. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, he's dead. Yeah, I think he's it works dead. Yeah. 
And the H sword will throw, uh, well, you know, close that one out. I was going to oh, say throw so that sad. one out, but no, not really. That is so sad. Big two us. You just want to send out a funny beam. No, oh, wow, playing the neutral. Kind of messing with these like, 6A4s. Using JD, try approach, gets a 2P. It's sending it out, burn it down. That's nice, oh, and it's gonna frame trap good. as well. That's Into the low. low. All right, you can close it out here. Oh, I don't know how I feel about that. Using the drone instead of just taking a turn. Almost let Alyo shot out, but Blazu will take that game. And now up two to one. Yeah, isn't it like a lot of time going for a drone? Okay, is not really that good of a move. It depends on the knockdown and uh, what you're trying to play around there. I don't think Alyusha had meter, right? So, like, what's um, really the point in going for the drone that most definitely will not lead to your meaty? You're see, pretty much letting him back dash out for free. I was thinking the drone would be used more due to, like, placements and space, and so it's based solely upon the enemy's mirror. Well, drone is mostly a countermeasure to defensive options like DPs and wake-up supers. Hmm. And YRC, oh, wow. I guess. Oh, you used the funny? We are a fan of the oh, funny over here at twitch.tv slash backpack. Really am. Oh, great YRC. YRC What's won't build some meter for quite a while, though, and Alia Shaw will now get that counter hit into the conversion. And it's going to be yeah, very difficult for Blazu to get back into this game. Wow, that's a really good spot for having them in the corner like this. It yeah, jumps out with a really super jump JD, easy. but Alyusha was playing very, very patient there. Alright. Oh, wow. Catching the, the whiff too, okay. Man, really just keep them in the corner with these far slashes. Such a good button. Yeah, oh, goes for the path to 6p. <laughs> yeah, gets caught by the explosion. Alyusha puts himself in the corner with oh, the supers! God. Certified Ramathal with punish. That was a pretty, um, pretty Ram match there. That was, that was very, um, Ram-sided. Yeah, Alyusha played it very, very well. When they did get their advantage, they pushed it to a victory. Alright, uh, what's the score right now? 2-2. Two to two. Really? I, I feel, it feels like more matches have been played. That's just the stress of watching a Rama fall super you for the third time. Ah, so true. Guys, say, uh, it isn't really looking that good for uh, our, our gold list main here because it looks like Alyosha is just really getting used to the spacings to punish all of uh, gold list's options. Yeah, a bit, bit of a risk you oh, took wow. there, Alyosha. Doesn't get punished for it though, at least not too bad. Uh, okay. No, once again, going for the drone. Go. I guess it's going to work there, though. And it's sitting on a bar mirror, so he can't convert into pressure. Backs Very off, re-engages. Fantastic 6P there from Alyusha. Runs up, oh, goes for the throw from full button. screen. And who's in the corner now? <laughs> Grab the swords. Did grab him, and because it was a trade and not a hit, that makes a world of difference. Is it meter to extend? No! Oh, never mind, never mind. I was looking at the wrong bars. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Alyosha does the meter here now. PRC's in. Oh, Bit of a trade no. once again. So unfortunate to deal with. And now you have to deal with nine wreckers in a row is probably what we're going to see. <laughs> no. Such it's going to be the hit. End of the throw. Uh, a lot of the corner pressure looks really love for uh, Blazel to um, deal with. And I, I don't blame him. It is Ryan pressure. It's really good. I feel like we haven't gotten a good chance to see what Blazu's pressure looks like, you know? Yeah, because he keeps killing. <laughs> and when he does get in, he kills pretty immediately. And uh, when he doesn't, it's not looking too good. Yeah, that, that, that's, a, that's a pretty basic rundown of what's going on. Oh, wow. He's got him in the corner. He's sitting on a bar mirror. Uh, and another bar mirror so they can keep the pressure going. Wow. You ever heard of a blog string that lasts 20 seconds? Uh, you know, I, I didn't believe it existed until today. <laughs> Alyosha taking the next one, 3-2. to two. Yeah. Uh, again, long sets really do matter. We're at, we're at the point now where it's like, uh, we're beyond first to three. So we can see Blazer like, uh, adapt to this really well. Or we can see Alyosha just get better and better as it goes on. 
So it, it's all about Blazo to make like a really good comeback here. Big oh, 6 on the, the round side. Calling out the far side. Jumps in. Oh, <laughs> trade on both sides. Drone going to come out. Will lock him down. Blazer getting a lot of value of that neutral. I believe yeah. that that should be 6 p or uh, oh, JS by Alyusha. Into the overhead. Play a very solid game using minigun. Gets the knockdown. Skyfish going to get the knockdown. Oh, no. Oh, that's the best I don't, that's I don't like the, the burst here. I know you kind of want to panic and use the burst. But now Alyusha is out of the corner. You don't have burst. Yeah, you have a health advantage. But who's really favored for the rest of this round? I like the yeah. use of the 6 4 there, but... Uh... I think we need to see a wake-up super, YRC. not YRC. Go. You did not oh, just cross go. up empty land throw. <laughs> it's a good mix. Good mix. Yeah, fantastic mix even. All right, back to almost full screen. Try to jump in with a behemoth. You're not going to be able to do that on ramp. Back dash row. I believe that was challengeable there. Oh, wow. I don't like the, the use of these 5Ps because you're actually just damaging the wall for very little reward. You can convert off that. Oh, but yeah, once again, it's like you, you could have killed off that if you didn't 5P. Yeah, because that could have been a behemoth into behemoth. Yeah. Uh, one of the main problems, and I, I, I get it, see, Alyosha is not FD in these behemoths. Um, it's like you're, you're just going to eat a large, like, chunk of health due to blocking uh, you need to use FD like as well as to like keep him away so he doesn't even get his game plan going we are going to see it tied up once again the I think the 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 thing I want to see in this in the remainder of this match is going to be Blazu's pressure yeah. I, I want to his, see it I, I'm not seeing any like JD resets. I'm seeing a lot of like aerial behemoths and stuff like that. And I'm like, ah, I don't think that's the game plan. Yeah, the aerial behemoths. I think they're they're kind of over relying on aerial behemoths in neutral. And uh, okay, well we're we are going to see some pressure here. Two six eight. We'll make the follow up back dash will because it was FD'd. Oh great! And that's really the weakness of Goldo's pressure when you're not using JDs to reset. Just FD back dash is just really really strong. Ah, uh, that's gonna be really good for Ram. That's some great OK coming up. PRC, the PRC into the throw. Sends a draw. Oh, mess up the media. Really yeah, yeah, you really could have forward for, there. Uh, yeah. They have a very safe game right now, jumping away from Ram. Should have really continued the pressure into the corner. Yeah, I think you should have contested the space because this is pretty much the last thing you wanted. Oh. Uh, unless. Never mind, he's gaming. You do have meter here in just a second. Yep, you could have extended with PRC, jumps uh, in with the behemoth, and it's just too slow. Al is going to be able to see it in 6 pit. Especially if Ram 6 p being really, really good. It's like, you, you can't, be, can't be doing that. Yeah, okay, I think, doing that. I think Al Yusha has uh, adapted at this point. I think they're expecting, like, they know what approaches Blazu likes to go for. Yeah, it's like, he goes to there, it's probably a behemoth. Oh, JD? PRC to extend. Chase the JD. No, they choose far slash once again. Back dashable. Oh, wow. That's going to be really good. Through the wall. Really cool stage. Oh, wow. Both trading trade on the far the sky slash. Are you going to get super? Oh, not a hard knockdown. Don't have to worry about it. Yeah, he's getting Should be dash bonus. blocking there so you don't have to deal with the explosion. But instead gets locked down and hit. And just like that, Al Yusha is on match point. Yeah, apparently you've been messing up the names. Uh, how is it pronounced? Is it Al Yusha? Is it Al Yusha or is or it, it Al Yusha? It's a gamer tag, bro. <laughs> like, it's, what? A gamer. It's, it's a gamer it's tag. It's a gamer tag, bro. <laughs> like, okay, okay, okay. But like, let, 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 let's put it Bla right? Blazu and Al Yusha. What, okay, what if you said panda, like, Panda. That just but makes that, no Panda's sense. a word. Yeah, yeah, but I'm saying it's just, well, it's a name. It's a name. It, it's a that word. They gave to the first. Animal. It's a word. <laughs> <laughs> it's a proper noun, okay? What is Al Yasha, okay, dude? Emphasize the yo, not the Shah. Okay. I like the Shah, though. It's my favorite. <laughs> Yasha! <laughs> oh, the back dash. Oh, oh big bait! Blocking. No, no, punish, Does it though! And the gold burst for it too! 
Uh, yeah, all gold lowest mains are in shambles right now. PRC on wake up, 2P <laughs> all five into the 268, into the 684. Empty lands, goes for a 2P, not sure what that was for. Actually, probably oh, to be a super. It's not going to be good for uh, Blazo. Yeah, this is rough. I don't think it, though, but that's not good. They're not dead Ugh, yet, but you have to look back at the beginning of this round where they baited a super and then just didn't punish afterwards. Very, yeah. very unfortunate. A again, it's like he's using 6P really, really well in this matchup, and Gold Lewis can't really contest it. Big jump in with the JS. This could be it. Oh, no punish on the third Rekka. <laughs> you don't Jumps even out. clash? Close slash can That's so messed up. You have meter. Yep. 2K, great no, back dash. 268, this is a big conversion right here. No, it doesn't go for the optimal combo. Has to use Messes the RC up. to extend. And gets challenged with the far session just like that. Your meter's gone. You didn't get the damage you needed. Al Yashar's bar. You're at the same HP. How do you close it up? Oh, oh okay. Well, no. Oh, he's still alive. Not gonna still kill. alive. Does this is going to be a very difficult situation. for uh, they, they know that you like to jump there, so they're going to call it out with the aerial sword throw, and that will be it. Al Yasha. <laughs> <laughs> Taking the set. 5-3 over Blazu, thus eliminating both gold loses out of Such the CMA bracket. Pizza team is going to take it with, um, with like, success, and he's just going to convert and deal a lot of damage. Oh, great far slash. Nice conversion. Great pressure as well. Fantastic challenge. Gets out of the corner. Poke him with a far slash. Yeah. We've seen that Pizza so Time is not really the kind of person to throw out preemptive 6P as a neutral. Granted, Soul doesn't have the yeah. best 6P, but... Something you have to do sometimes, you know? Oh, go so far. Oh, messes up the throw oh, team. And very unfortunate, yeah. So, uh, Alex Fox was not able to whiff punish that throw. Instead, they went for backdash afterwards and then got punished for backdash. <laughs> Yeah. So it's just oh, one of wow, those things. Run up. The, the pizza time knows when to run up. That's another thing I've noticed. Yeah, people are afraid of a soul running at you at full speed. What can I say? <laughs> like, look at him. He just sprints. It's also uh, particularly like an anti Jacko thing because if you don't run forward, you're giving them way too much space to uh, just throw out minions, you know? Yeah. Oh. Because the way Jackos want to be throwing minions is like jumping with them so that we, they can get the minion behind you. So when yeah. they're trying to jump, you run under them and apparently you 5k anti-air them. <laughs> 5k anti-air, it's a classic. Jumps in with the BRC. Oh, oh Clean. wow. That was, a, that was a really smart BRC because it just made it no matter what jump attack he did. It was just going to be a block string into any grounded button. Uh, so far... Pizza Time is playing really solid, and Alex Fox is probably going to have to adapt heavily in this match. I don't see Pizza Time having to adapt that hard. Um, yeah, as per usual, uh, you know, Pizza Time just looking clean. Yeah, fundamentally solid. Like, he knows when to run up, he knows when to throw out certain pokes. He's just playing a very solid game, and it's corner pressure. Um, it, is, it is on the, the, the basic side, but it's still good, you know? Once again, runs forward, directly under Jacko, and tears with the 5k. Leads to some good damage, you know, pretty good damage, 50%. Yeah, just like half your life. Okay, uh, I can't see Barst being used. Yeah, just hold on to it for the next match. Yeah, especially since uh, there was a big meter deficit. Like, I'm pretty sure Pete's time at two bars. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh man, he's just converting uh, off of anything he lands. Yeah, it's resets. really gross. In, okay, big throw though. Don't get DP'd. Right. Gonna be safe. Another big another throw. throw. <laughs> another minion. Here. I think that, Clap might we... have been more damage because yeah. you had two minions out. Well, well, only one of them would hit, right? I don't know. They both hit. All right, send out the min. Oh, the vortex. That's gonna be really good. I don't, really I don't think it's gonna be enough. Yeah. Uh, oh this is gonna be no. <laughs> Yep, PRCs though to stay safe. Unfortunately, that cost you two bars. Now you're in the corner, locked down. Gunflame into the PRC. Fantastic Great back dash. Great oh, staggers, that'll be it. Oh, uh, it's a shame. Pizza time now up 2 0.
By the way, I yeah, see some so people in the chat want to start betting. If we have any mods that want to set up bets, that'd be very cool. But I'm also running a ton of stuff in the background. so Yeah, I, I don't know any mod that could do that. I've never heard of a mod that could uh, manage... Uh, <laughs> like <a> manal <laughs> cha manage channel point bets as well as cast. Like It's inconceivable. Inconceivable. I mean, it's it really is just called slash prediction. The two players, uh, about a minute wait time, and then that's... Uh, but I can't think of any mod that can do that. I can't either. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see how this is gonna go. Uh, I, great conversions overall from uh, a big hit. Time. Burst gonna come out. By the way, you gonna talk about how uh, Pizza Time is repping the uh, Armor Clyde Faith song? You have anything uh, to say yeah. about that? <laughs> I, to be honest, I've, I've just, I was just like not in my head that I didn't even realize he was repping it. I'm just like, ah, yes, the song I like. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a classic. It's a, it's a really good theme. Uh, it's great to see that. However, he is looking like the, um, the, the champ. So it's like, it's, it's not cool to support him, you know. Oh wow, great super. It's gonna deal a lot of damage. Oh no, wall break. Yeah, it goes for the five D. Gonna get caught out. Into the reset, now you're in the corner. And Alex just wondering if it was worth it. Was the 5k yeah. worth it? Big staggers. Gives up the pressure. Oh, 5k. Here's the thing, he's sitting on a bar meter, so Cost anything that that's a messed up mix, it, it doesn't matter. Great pokes. Oh, keeping him out with the yeah, 5k. Yeah, it's, it's a third one. That's a far slash, actually. Is that, is that far slash? Yeah, they look fairly similar, but far slash has the bigger range. Wow, I guess I'm a fill that knows nothing. Oh, great Classic. IP for the mini. Oh, wow. Big throw the fat man. Good stuff. Sandwich Walking pressure. Down. Where, where are we going to go? Uh, I was actually Enter. expecting a... I was expecting something a little bit differently, but... I guess going to close that anyways, though. Yeah, good stuff. Alex Fox still his life. Yeah, Alex Fox is playing a good game. I, I was expecting a 5D, but um, going into run up throw, you know, you mixed them. Mixed me. Um, uh, so far, I would say Alex Fox is starting to get their um, uh, like like a good understanding of what this match is going to be like for like the um, the rest of the set. But um, a again, even though he knows, it's still going to be a really rough set because Pizza Time just has a really solid um like Saul, he just plays really good fundamentals. I want to see Alex go for more 5H as a neutral. I think that's going to mean a lot, especially uh, given that Pete's time is not really the 6B and neutral kind of guy. And 5H yeah. is such a good button for uh, keeping your opponent from engaging. And we saw that Pete's oh, time is engaging great. a ton Farce on the ground. Man. We're seeing a lot of far slash and a far slash and a 5H. Uh, you can counter that yeah. by just uh, 6 ping after the first far slash. Yeah. Yeah, Gunflame Staggers is looking rough. <laughs> it is looking really rough. And sets up a minion. Tries like to get some sandwich there. pressure. Bigger grabs throw? him out the air. Sandwich. Head to super? Oh, no super. Yeah, challenge of the far side. So gonna punish. Rough. Gonna be a ton oh, of damage here. RCs. Damage. That should be it. And that killed? Yep. Wow. And, and what was that off of? <laughs> Was that was that a far slash? Oh, 2S. Really good button. Uh 2S is a very solid neutral tool. Yeah, especially at dealing yeah. with uh minions at farther range we just saw. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> did you notice that what he just did there? He did far slash uh, no. into 2S. So if if far. uh <laughs> if Alex had tried to 6P, he would have gotten hit. Finally, Alex for the first time this tournament, gonna get a 5D to worth. Not yeah, gonna kill, gets our but then what we go for? Does get some good damage, gets DP'd out. JD? Six speed? No. Oh, gonna get hit. Whips. Oh, the wake up. No throw. burst bit. Tries to air from, doesn't really work out. Sends out JDs. PRC, oh, air this throw. Is bad. Yeah, this is very bad. Ah, uh, headbutt. And Pizza gonna close that one out. Yeah, again, pizza time is just playing a really good Saul. There's not really a lot of weaknesses going on there. But, um... Like, I, I don't even know what Alex Fox can do to play that match a bit better. I think they need I've to contest the ground game a little more with uh, 5H and 2D. Yeah. 
Because a, a lot of time when it goes there, it gets a little bit scrambly or pizza time is taking charge. Um, but uh, the grounded game a lot of time, it is, it's kind of rough. It just really is. Duel one. Also, there are some certain uh, minion routes you can do in neutral by uh, kicking them down. Like you can do like minion JD, I think. Like minion drop JD. I think we'll yeah. cover the arc of the horizontal angle, angle right under you. Ah. There's a nice 5 H. Yeah. Sends out. Minion's not really going to do much from there. Sends there you out go. Two. Drops Cover, the minion, covers the, the ground. Oh, wow. Great conversion. This could kill. Oh, no cancel into the super. To ask uh, it to work from that range. To ask is a really Whip good play. Might find yourself dead here. Okay, try to bait out a burst. Big throw tech. Great tech. Burst gonna come out with two barks. bars. Gotta make use of them. Oh. Great. Whoa. Wow. Yeah, fantastic use of the minion armor. Cover yourself as you poke in. Oh, wow. Great too, okay, from uh, Pizza Time. It's like he knows when he should go for an interruption. Great 5D, holding on to him here. I'm guessing that's for the minion pressure that could be coming up. Great 5 Alex, once again, finding himself as having two bars. How are they going to use it? You guys need to stay oh, in. Oh, wow. going to get a 5 itch. Uh, I think it's worse. Are we catching yep. the button? Yep. Yes, yep. we are. Uh, pff, that was really risky, but um, good call out from Alex Fox. Yeah, it's now 3-2 in Pizza Time's favor. Pizza Time does have the advantage right now, but, you know, Alex is still in there. He's still trailing. Yeah. It, it does seem like, um... It, it does seem like improvements that can be made to this matchup are, um... Just, just very rough. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, no, I don't. Please elaborate. <laughs> 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 it's kind of like I wouldn't know if I was playing as Jackal and again I don't know how to play as Jackal it's like I wouldn't know how to improve from the situation I'm in well it's probably because you don't know how to play Jackal if I had to guess yeah <laughs> <laughs> we're going to oh, see a big wake up pro oh it's not a safe jump now that they did their setup a little too late oh and grabbing the five finger. Finger. damage no okay though Big 5k, gonna stop the jump in. Keeps, oh, him, out of, oh. keeps him out of the air, and then engages on the ground. So far, yeah. great okay, this is what I'm saying. Folks. See, uh, pizza time is super, uh, super solid, but they, they kind of freeze up a little bit when they're getting engaged at. Uh, so what you're saying is, is when they're under pressure, sometimes it freeze up and then make some bad decisions. I'm saying sometimes you gotta go on the attack, even as a jacko. Oh, Big 2D. Super, no, actually runs up, goes to the 2H. Yeah, I notice they keep saving meter every time they go for the wall break, and I don't know if they're trying to set up, like, set up for minion pressure. First out? Um, I don't know. Gun flying when I oh, kill the minion. JD. JD the JD, this is where, yep. Oh! Great 6P. I love that. I that love that 6P. That was very, very nice. And, yeah, Alex tying it up 3-3. Three to three. Yeah, it looks like Alex is getting the rhythm going. So, I, yeah, I mean, what we saw there is that, I mean, pretty much exactly what I recommended. Alex is now playing in the ground a lot more. They're, they're playing aggressive on the ground. They're contesting so much space. And uh, in that final situation there, we saw that when they landed, they threw out the 6P. So that way, uh, when Pizza Time engaged on the ground as they had before with Bar Slash, they, they got hit. Even though, in that sense, they didn't, like, run a Bar Slash. The uh, Pizza Time actually jumped up, but it also accounted for that option. Oh, I get what you're saying. So basically, 6P was a good option there because it would have called out multiple things yes. that um, um, Pizza Time likes to do. Exactly. It, it was counterplay to what, Pizza, to what Pizza Time was doing earlier, but it also happened to account for this option as well. So I mean, hey, we take So those, what we're right? saying is we're seeing the adaption. We are seeing the adaptations over here from Alex. Hopefully they oh, came to this conclusion on their own and not just listening to me commentate, but uh, they're doing great right now, man. They really are. It's oh, oh yeah, that should be a solid round now. That should be a solid round. Very, very solid play from Pete's time, recognizing uh, the potential reset. Challenges with the mash, takes the round off of it. 
Runs up with a 5k now. Okay, we're seeing a, a bit of a swap. The aggression is still there from pizza time, but they're using 5k now a little more to account for aerial options. Oh, wow. Great throw. Uh, I think that was a miss input. Don't know why they'd go for 6h there. Sends out a minion, gets gun flame. Sends out another minion, misses up the guard timing. Gets a sandwich situation. I love leaving oh, the, the minion on the reached. ground there. Leaving the minion on the ground there, just uh, it can test so much uh, general space where the opponent yeah. has can either commit to running into it or backing up and putting himself in the corner. Yeah, it, it becomes one of those ones where it's like, do I approach or do I play around the minion? And that's that's what that, that's the main game that's being played there. Um, but Pizza Time played a, a better round that time, but I would say that was due to Alex Fox more getting defensive in that round. Like, yeah, I think, I think they uh, defensive. I think Pizza Time didn't really change anything up. They just uh, swapped the button they were doing, now using more 5Ks to account for potential aerial options. And uh, their aggression just kind of worked there. I mean, now Alex needs a, a different answer. Generally, I would recommend to start using 2Ds a little more because uh, we're not seeing too many jumps from Pizza Time. And obviously, 2D is going to slaughter Soul 5K. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the... Alex getting super, super aggressive. Yeah. Putting him in the aggressive corner. Burst. Using burst. 2K into the far slash. Oh, oh resets reset into the command the grab. Tries to put him in the corner. Great 2D. Sets up a minion. Yeah, you're oh. getting a... Alex is getting a little too greedy on these setups, engaging just a little farther than they usually should. And uh, it's just great awareness from Pizza Time. Now he's one off of taking the set. Yeah. Fantastic oh, 6 Oh, calling out, calling it out uh, with a uh, bandit bringer. Yeah, great oh JD. my god, he's just goaded with the great sauce, what can feet. I say? <laughs> the, these are just really good callouts from both the players. It's, it's a really good match to watch because of it. Yeah, Pete's time recognized earlier the, uh, a situation that Alex Fox has consistently been up backing in and then dropping minions. So he chased, and I mean, look, look where it's gotten him. He's got Alex in the corner. It's a really rough situation. They're going to get burst. <laughs> Wild throw. I'm very surprised uh, we didn't see a gold burst there. And that's pizza time thing. That's that's 5-3. That's 5-3, yeah. Pizza time. Going to take the set 5-3 and wow. I mean, just a really solid effort from Alex Fox, but I mean, the soul aggression just takes it. Um, But yeah, this matchup. Uh, I think this is Ram favorite, right? I would not know. <laughs> Could not tell <laughs> Very you. triple, I respect that. I don't know, it just seems like a, a matchup where it seems like Ram should basically win the neutral because they got better buns than Eno, right? But then got Eno him. has the better mix in the corner. <laughs> wow. It's like where I think Eno has a better round. mix. Where Eno has a better mix in the corner, Ram has a safer mix in the corner. <laughs> and better. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> <laughs> way higher output of light. damage. Oh wow, race six speed call it. RC to stay goes in, goes the empty low. The overhead. Held five deep for the extra damage. Not gonna be hard knockdown, but obviously they have a big health lead and positive bonus. Five H into the sword throw. I really like wow. that option for Mali. They use that a lot. That's an Eno yeah, thing the... for sure. Yeah, the um, oh no. Oh, oh does it mess did they up know? the punish? Miss Emperor, what happened? It's a little rough. I think they knew. I, I'm I'm fairly certain they knew. They just uh, pressed 2p instead of 5p, probably what they meant to do. Oh no, I, I'm re watching on the stream. They picked 2h, but they didn't have their sword. Oh, is that what happened? Oh, okay. I thought it was 2p. <laughs> Yeah, I thought it was 2P as well, but um, you, you see them raise the arm, and I'm like, that's supposed to be the sword. That is really unfortunate. Um, yeah, unfortunately uh, for Ramaphal mains across the world, when they throw their sword, they don't generate a new one immediately. Very, yeah. very unfortunate. Maybe that's Escape, please fix they, this. Yeah, maybe that's a buff they deserve in the upcoming patch. Oh, wow. Already getting the damage in. Great dive kick. Send them all the way to the corner. Fantastic 6P. Calling out the HCL. Al Yasha has the meter. Yeah. Gonna Should use the hard yep. knockdown, what we're gonna go for. 
And this is uh, pretty much Ramathal's round. They just do what they do, which is pressure yeah. into meter into kill. Yeah, because uh, Ram with positive bonus just automatically leads to you're going in the corner. You can't do anything about it. Block. Oh, wow. You can Great block stuff in this from game? <laughs> Should we <be> punish? <laughs> it's crazy, right? It is crazy. Run up throw. It's a classic. And to the records, RC and you keep in. Great oh, staggers. Really Tried to do a burst safe combo, ended up dropping it. Is setting on a bar mirror so we can maybe see a reversal Cipern. No YRC, good stuff. Goes for the YRC, that does mean that they're not going to have meter for quite a while. Which could yeah. be a little rough as my dog screams in the background. Is setting on a bar Oh no, doesn't get to use it. Gets baited on the burst and uh, Ram takes the run. Uh, so far, this is seen Yeah, the YRC cool. was a little bit of a risk because they did find themselves in the corner with no defensive options. That could have been rough. Yeah. As my dog is saying right now, rough, rough. Yeah? Yes. All right, then. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, indeed. But th this matchup does seem uh, pretty... Well, not the matchup, but the matchup between the players seems very even so far. It, it seems like they're both well aware. Um, I think Alyosha could do with a bit more uh, adapting to how like, Eno likes to play around the neutral. But so far, solid stuff. Burr's going to come out. Runs up, goes to the 6P, into the 6P, as Ramathal can. Locks yeah, down with the note. Oh, wow, I actually really like the the landing aerial moves there. After the uh, jump. Yeah, send out the note, gets the 6P, puts him into the corner. Hard, hard knock then, what are we going for? Oh, this is not going to kill, but it's going to be a ton of damage into a hard knockdown. Al Yashad does have one bar to work with, but you're probably going to wire C here, and then not feel too good afterwards. Well, actually blocks it. Challenge is after yeah. a high risk, high reward. You now have one meter to work with. It could be a vital That's comeback. Six feet? But kind of get called out by one of the best six feet in the game. Yeah, the, these. Wait, I just realized something. We're watching a match between the two best six feet in the game. What? This isn't Kai Testament. <laughs> Let me put on my glasses. Oh, yeah, I forgot they existed. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> one of the four best six feet in the game. The battle for third place, huh? Yeah, pretty much. Oh wow, great knockdown. Oh, great YRC. Um, as on positive bonus, so the YRC won't hurt too much. And you don't need meter if they're dead. Yeah. Um, round start seems very... Oh wow. They used the dive kick to play around whatever tool they were going to play, but they did jump JS. Oh, I, 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 knew the the burst. Burst. I knew the burst bait was coming. Walks forward, gets the wall slump, goes into the low. Well, slump, what are we going for? High? It's so rough super. to block, man. It's so rough. Yeah, Hello? dead now. And, oh, doesn't even use the super. Yeah, Says, I want this like, I, I want to know. I think they could, could have killed a little earlier with super, but I think they just want so to uh, start dominance, you know? It's like, I'm the mix character. You're not blocking it. Um, Leave my match. <laughs> I win. But um, how do you think Rune Star will go here? I'm going to guess that we see a 6P from Eno. We've been seeing a lot of those. And a far slash from Ramaphal. Now we're going to see a backdash and delayed 6P. And we got a six, delayed 6P from Ram. Oh, wow. Throwing them into the corner. What are we going for? Wake up throw. Wow. Actually able to super jump out. Oh, my God. These 6P that from Ali are so good. good. Yeah, no. You know 6P is no joke. Yeah, it keeps backing up, backing in. I think they're trying to bait a button, but um, they aren't pressing that button. Uh, I don't know what it is they're trying to bait, though, because I think Far Slash would still reach. Oh, great. 6P, 6P. <laughs> Fantastic. It sends them into the corner. That's going to be really good. Empty low. You do have meter here. <laughs> it's oh, starting dominance. Do you got the... Oh, oh okay. It. Yeah, great block. Panic. Use the mirror. How are they blocking this? Great 6P. Aggressive burst. You want to close out this round now, great but the challenge! Ali not looking too good to close out this round now, especially since Ali Shah has the meter in the back. And while they're yeah. threatening the meter, they actually just go for the dash cancel into yeah. the throw, end it with the super. Really, really well played round there. 
Yeah, but uh, what I'm seeing in this matchup is just a lot of neutral 6 <laughs> Uh It seems like a really good mat uh, button in general to just use in any matchup. I'm very impressed with Alyosha's defense. Uh, like, they really are not using uh, crutches a lot of the time. Like, when they can wire yeah. they opt not to. When they can burst, they opt not to. When they can wake up super, they don't. Right, which might be uh, an issue, actually. <laughs> might want to be doing that with Ramaphal. <laughs> Especially with Ram. Jesus. Oh, oh wow! So I don't do it in block strings, I do it as a, as a poke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're gonna get caught. <laughs> Yep, and that stroke is going to be the end. Ali going to go up 3-1 in the set. Remember, this is a first to five. Winner will play against Pizza Time in the grand finals of the Back to Brawl Invitational EMEA edition. I know it's yeah, odd to uh, throw I, that in at the middle of the set, but you know. Uh, yeah. Uh, the, the thing that I do like from that Ram, though, is just like, it's like the average goose super as a pork enjoyer. <laughs> you know what I mean? It, it just seems like an absolute, like, call-out button. Well, super to do it like that. And um, the fact that he got it really shows that they were expecting it to land. Oh, wow. Great stuff. It's 6P beat 6P. It's a classic. Sends out the note. What are we going for? Overhead mix. Into the low. Into yep. the command grab. <laughs> I uh, love blocking Eno. You know? <laughs> uh, I mean, Eno loves when you block too. That's all I'm saying. If you're committed all to right. blocking, uh, Eno will get you that 100% of the time. And close that one out with a 2K. Uh, wow. Uh, blocking Eno really is just terrifying a lot of the time. Oh, seems to be good some character, connection you know? at you. It's good on my end, so uh, I'll pick up the commentary. Okay, We're going to see a 2S <laughs> that's going to add here. Classic 2K 2D challenge. No, we're going to lock down. Gets a knockdown. Note once more. Into the empty low. Alyosha going to build the meter, but it's a little too late. Wow, going to get hit. Very low HP. Challenge with a 2k. Going to low profile, but... And they take it. Yeah, Ali going to follow up with a 2k 2d. Closes that one out as well. And now Lil Ali is up 4-1 over Alyosha. His next game's yeah. going to be set point. Alyosha is really going to have to dig deep to bring it back here because it's it's 4-1 down, right? is isn't the usual first to free format that he's used to. He has to win four matches if he wants to bring this back. And that is definitely uh, a tall order. Like that, that is pretty tough to do. And, it's and really it, rough, it, but hey, we, we saw it this tournament, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah that's what I was being into. The thing that makes it scarier is that they're fighting the person that did that. <laughs> you know? So it, it becomes like a, even more of a mental stack. Is like, oh, they can do it. Um... And then I should probably try and do it, but like it, it's a it's a tough thing to do. It really is. All right, goes for overhead. Oh, the five H counter hat. This is gonna be really good. <laughs> Actually, able to hold it up forward and go through that, through the leap. Backs off. Yeah, Al Ali is respecting the super. It, well, well God, oh they no, they were respecting the super. Oh. Big oh punish, big punish, no! Big punish. No, they didn't get close. Slash. I guess it doesn't matter. They didn't have enough HP. Uh, the projectiles for that super are supposed to track behind Dino. Um, oh wait, you're right. Oh my, wait, you're yeah. actually right. That means they must have got the cross up just in time for it and not do that. That's weird. Yeah, that's crazy. For once, it looks like a regular interaction. Oh wow! Wall slumps. Oh, that's evil. <laughs> Wow, that that is bro. That that is definitely something that's really bro about fighting Eno you know, is that knowing that you can get high load and it's unreactable and then get command grab. After the whiff throw, we're gonna see the knockdown overhead. End of the knockdown once again. Double overhead, yeah, we're gonna see the burst from Al Yasha. Both players are gonna whiff a six P. Low profile is the five K. End of the knockdown. Send them into the corner. Great to a to the six H conversion. Yeah, you just oh. can't block them all. <laughs> you can't block them all, dude. Uh, another perfect to close out the set. Low alley. And just like that, we've got our grand finals confirmed for this invitational Lil Ali versus Pizza Time. After eight exactly. brackets, over two months, we got eight champions 
we put him in this bracket, made him play first of five single elimination. This is who is left. Lil Ali on the Eno and Pizza Time on the Soul. The two Loser. best characters running the show. Loser will get a Morbin mug from the Backpack merch store. Winner gets an item of their choice. The stakes are high, but the ego, the power is higher. Dual one, let's rock. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely introduction. Thank you, appreciate oh, that. We're gonna playing. see the slide. <laughs> Are already playing around the note. The match just started, we're already playing around it. Wow, great poking. Something to note about this matchup is that Soul generally does pretty well against Eno defensively because of 5k and DP, both of which are very, very good defensive options. Oh, wow. Fantastic super. Stole the turn back to get the kill. That was very smart. Oh, both clashing on their big neutral buttons. Great options, keep them back. Got I want to see corner. Ali uh, continue to bait these 5Ks while he still commits to them. Yep, yep exactly. Yep. Baiting the 5Ks. Like, we're on match one. We're already adapting. Yeah, we're on layer two already. Uh, I think I don't know if we desynced or if this is just an, a very odd scramble. Very odd scramble. A big oh, far wow. slash. Gun flame. The gun flame? Wait, what? 6P into 6P. Wait, what? There we go. Oh, the success. Putting them in the corner. 2S so in the 5H and the 5K. Last you're gonna win. And, and yeah. uh, Eno closes it out. Pizza Time does not try to play the end of that round from so far behind. Ali gonna take the first one. I really, really like that uh, Ali immediately started baiting out the 5Ks because it's such a difficult thing to deal with. You have to show the soul. Not only do you know that it exists, but you also know how to counter it and punish it. Yeah, it makes them not want to use it as much in situations where it could prove useful uh but are we going to see um pizza time adapt to that and then start throwing out bigger buttons to catch the back dash so they can like catch them try to call them out that way we're seeing layer free you probably have to use uh like two three six k to like chase the back dash and actually get a knockdown for him from it but still big out to us though we are going to see a big challenge you were exactly right with those big buttons Oh, oh dash far slash. Far slash. <laughs> uh, such a uh, soul maneuver. Oh, it goes under the 6 feet. Oh, wow, great stuff. Getting the combo into the corner. Uh, Sol is still sitting on a bar mirror. He can probably get pressure going with it. Oh, wow. Uh, uh, again, this is looking really good for Low Alley. Uh, calling out where it's appropriate, and it is working. Nice challenge. Gunflame Tries catch to go it. for Gunflame. Wow. Great burst. Very patient play. Nice yeah, web punish. Very patient. Try oh, does a back dash. Again, try call it 5k. But uh, that time he to say just sit there and not press anything. Oh, oh actually goes for Kara Gunflame. Gun flame. Yeah, that was a, a dashing car, a gun flame, point blank. Oh, no, no, it wasn't dash car because he would be in front of Eno. It goes... That was ridiculous. Uh, if it was carrot, he'd be in Eno's face. Like, it uh, goes even further. Oh, it's ridiculous. Uh, I think I might have desynced there. Uh, did... Is it final round for you? Yeah, it's final round. Cell setting on bar. He's in uh, the Maybe corner. I just froze for a second then. Okay. Uh, great 6P. Oh, the JS gets on counter. No and, uh, gets burst out. 6P. Nice challenge with the 5P. 10 out of the note. Oh, wow. So putting them in the corner. Has a bar of meter. The, these are very weird scrambles. I, I'm not sure if I'm desynced or not. Oh, wow. Well. I will say, really in the case that it isn't. Well, no, I think I'm desynced. Yes. Alright, who won? Uh, low alley. Okay, Closes yeah, I was definitely desync. <laughs> wow. One thing that my um, like desync well, situation did though was uh, it used five p. Uh, so I was using five p instead of five k all the time, and uh, that's another way to stop the jump in. 
Obviously, not as much reward as 5k, not as fast, but still a good option. Still very, very okay, good. But here, and way low, plus lower I, recovery, I, I, so there's less, uh, it's less committal. All right, here's the plus site. Although it was desync for you, wasn't desync for Atomic Red. Yeah, but so I'm recording good. on my end. Yeah, you're recording. In, in the video, the people, the people in the video, are they're done for, dude. Yeah, but the people in the stream are witnessing the match live, you know. Oh, wow, great 6 speed. I think that was trying to go for some form of cross up, but messed up. Sends out note. Great 6 p Great JS. Oh, slowly walking forward and 6 p ing. Oh, H struggling to catch him, that catch. Double overhead yeah. into the nice little conversion. Really cool combo. Oh, both of them clashing on their bigger buttons. Oh, success, catch him in the punish, sends out Gunflame, catches on a pretty straight hit. Both of them sent on a bar Ooh. mirror, they can both continue pressure with it. Great 5k call out. Oh, Fafnir to stay plus, you have meter. And gets, H-Troll gonna uh, close it out game. though, dies holding the two bars. Mac, can you believe both these guys are gonna get Morbius mugs? <laughs> We're gonna see the 6P into the note, into the H stroke. Fantastic 5k challenge, just when you're least expecting it. Oh, great JS. That's the beautiful thing about RPSs. Just because you've shown your opponent that you do it and they start countering it, you can just give it a pause for a bit, you know, and then go back to it. And then it'll be just yeah. as effective as it was at the beginning. Wow, really good call out with the 6P. Yeah, now you have to bait the burst. He didn't burst. Wow. Again, Lil Ali's really taking this. I thought this would be a lot more of an even match, but so far, Lil Ali's just running the show. Uh, so it, it's on. It's on uh, pizza time to really adapt to the um, the the way Lil Ali's playing the Reno. Yeah, but it's hard to say what the issue actually is, right? It really is. I, I'm I, trying I to figure out. I think Ali still. is just. Uh, they have really solid neutral. And when they're getting in, their mix is very tight. They're not letting themselves get uh, RPS'd out. Yeah. It's 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 definitely odd. I wouldn't know what to do in this all situation. Great band to bring her. That would have been a very nice conversion as well. Sends the note downwards. Sends 2S after 2S. Fantastic oh, throw. Wow, not throw. an option that's been shown too much. Big DP though. Doesn't use the RC to stay in. Oh wow, well, this is not going to be Probably really good DPRC for him. Probably DPRC any second now. Nope. I'm going to get the wall break here. Now it gets opened up once again. Pete's time playing from, from behind oh, with a lot of meter. Positive bonus. Finally grants some bar. RC to stay in. Oh no. Can't convert though because you RC backwards. Yeah. Try and use success to play around the neutral. Oh. Gets... That's just what an Eno 6P moment. Ball? Eno 6P moment. Eno 6P moment. Is it a good button? Who knows? Is it a god tier button? Probably. Got him in the corner. Oh, tries to go for a throw reset. Doesn't really work out. Goes right for throw. an air reset. Yeah, I like the uh, the jabs in the air to stop the uh, the jump and stay plus on the land. And to the super. Rave. Really cool looking. Getting the super and to the knockdown. What are we going for? Jumps in, jails the low, that'll be it. Yeah. Really good stuff. I think Pizza Time's really going to start to bring it back. He's going to have to work pretty hard, though. Like, I don't think he's going to be able to get burst back for this round, Well, so uh, Lil Ali's probably going to have it as well. Oh, wow. Great stuff. And to the super, getting the hard yeah. knockdown. This is looking really, really rough. I think Pizza Time definitely wanted up this there. game, but a wake up throw could change all of the momentum. Definitely looking for that burst, but yeah, Ollie's I, defense I've... is looking very nice. Yeah. Ooh, what a throw on the dash. See, what I think is happening it? is, um, wow, great, great stuff from Low Alley. Can we acknowledge the, the situation we're in right now? Yeah. Um, Ollie, tame, it's down. Lil Ollie was down 0 4 in the first round of this tournament, and now they're up 4 0 in grand finals with Maybe. everything on the line. Maybe a curse could happen where Pizza Time <laughs> has to perform what Lil Ali did earlier. 
But um, I think in pizza time situation, his aggression um, with the way he does his offense is getting a little too structured. Do you, do you, do you get what I mean? You As think it, it's his become... uh, pressure is getting a little too uh, easy to read? Yeah, because every time it's been like a situation where um, uh, while he's been in the corner, they've been able to get out of it pretty consistently. I think so if you look I at think... the defensive options that Ali has picked, they're picking like jumps in the corner mostly. Jumps or throws, yeah. right? So how do you deal with that? Well, you stagger far slashes from range. You force them to guess. Yeah. And then once you have them conditioned to start throwing out like six Bs maybe, that's when you start frame trapping more. Yeah. So we're going to start seeing these options from Salt to really call that out. Oh, wow. I don't know why they did that. Is it because they thought they, they, they wouldn't get the wall slump or something like that? Or did they just want OK? Probably the former. Great success for one of Gunflames. Oh, far slash and far slash. Oh, wow. wow. Actually, Quick RCs wow. get out, gets out of the corner because of it. And close out uh, him once again. I have to keep pointing this out. Pete's time is dying consistently with meter. I think uh, yeah. they really should just be throwing out the meter in neutral, whether it be like uh, the slide into the PRC or just threading more like run up DP red RC. Yeah, because a, a lot of the time when they have meter, they tend to use it for their big combos to get a lot of damage. And I think that's his problem. What a conversion drop zone. Aggressive burst. Oh, the big and he's bait. dead. That has to be dead, right? And that's it. The Lil Ali. Takes the Jesus. tournament, takes the back for brawl invitational. 5-0 in grand finals over pizza time.